Welcome back to Lesson 2, Master the Piano. My name is Isabel and in this second lesson I'll be going through a review of the right hand, the treble clef notes, C, D, E, F and G. And once we've mastered those, we'll have a look at the left hand notes, the bass notes, C, B, A, G, F. From there, we'll start to put hands together, notes on the piano and we'll see how that sounds. And then after that, we'll have a look at some new material like rests, which tell us well, you'll see what they'll tell us. Welcome back to lesson two. In this lesson we're going to be playing a piece called The Chimes with both hands. So let's do a quick review of what we did in lesson one. We're going to take the right hand, place it onto middle C in the treble, number one finger on C, number two on D, three on E, four on F, five on G, and we're just going to go up the scale and back down and sing or say the letter names. C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C. In playing the music, in playing any music really, we've only got eight letters. C, D, E, F, G. Now we start again with A and B. In the left hand, because we're not going up the letters, we actually have to go backwards. We're going to have to think of something else. So what I usually tell my other students is to think of C, bag, and fed. So C, bag, fed. That will sort of get the letters into your head in a nice way. So we're going to try doing a similar exercise but for the left hand, for the bass hand. So start with your thumb aligned on middle C, second on B, third on A, fourth on G, fifth on F. We're going to hold the C down for semi-brief counts. So let's go C, two, three, four, then B, two, three, four, a, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Let's try that again. as you play to make sure you count evenly. So you don't want to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You want to keep that counting even the whole way through. The next thing we're going to do is play the same letters but as minim counts. So you remember minims are worth only two counts each. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Here we go again. We're going to do that one more time. And now we're going to do that as crotchet counts. So crotchets are colored in. They're worth one count each. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was descending the scale. Anytime we go down the keyboard towards the bass, we are descending. If we come up, it's called ascending. Have a look now at the piece called the chimes. You'll notice on the music you see the treble clef for the right hand and the bass clef for the left hand. They're joined by a single line, a bar line, and then on the left hand side you'll see a brace. This forms the grand stave. The grand stave shows us that we have to play the music hands together. In this piece of music, you'll notice our time signature has also changed. Instead of counting four crotchet beats per bar, we're now counting three crotchet beats per bar. Before we do anything else, let's look at the music. Which hand starts playing first? The right hand, then it goes to the left, the right, the left, the right, the left, then the left starts, the right finishes, and then you'll notice that they play at the same time. When notes are written on top of each other, you have to play them at the same time. You'll also notice in this piece of music we have a dotted minim. You'll see a minim, that is a circle with a line on the side, and this time you'll see a dot. The dotted minim is worth three counts, so make sure you hold it for three counts. Let's clap the rhythm. E, C, D, G, two, three. C, D, E, C, two, three. 
E D C G two three G D E C two three. Let's see if we can play just the right hand. E C D G two three C D E C two three E D C G two three G D E C two three. So we haven't changed our hand position from the exercise at all. Now what we're going to do is join with the left hand. So make sure your thumbs share middle C on a side angle. Your number twos are on there, threes, fours, fives. Your left hand will only have to play two letters, G on your fourth finger and middle C with your thumb. Let's see how this works out. E, C, D, G, two, three. C, D, E, C, two, three. E, D, C, G, two, three. G, D, E, C, two, three. Come off. We stop playing music when we see the double bar line at the end of the right hand side. It's our musical full stop. It basically means you've finished the piece, you can stop now. You'll also notice that we've got some rests. Now, have a look on the sheet. I've actually typed them out so you'll see a little block, a little rectangle that's coloured in hanging from the fourth line of the stave. It's in the same place regardless of if it's in the right hand or if it's in the left hand, but that block that's coloured in tells us don't play anything for the whole bar. Then you'll see a crotchet rest which looks like a little squiggly line. You'll find this in bar 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep definitely bar 7. So in bar 7 you'll see a little squiggly line in the right hand. It's a crotchet rest so where a crotchet note tells us to play for one count, the crotchet rest tells us don't play for one count. The other new rest we learn in this lesson is the minimum rest. Now it looks a lot like that whole bar or semi brief rest but it sits on top of the third line. So it sits on top of the third line, it looks like a little M, it's coloured in. Don't play anything for two counts. So be really sure you get to know the differences between the rests as well as the notes because they're both important. Try that again, let's see how it goes. your lesson for today and I'll see you next time. Well I hope you enjoyed your second lesson with more work today in the bass so you should now be confident in your treble and in your bass notes and we've also gone through some hands together work in your song The Chimes and you should also be a little bit more confident reading left hand notes and also rests. So keep trying, keep going through it. Remember always practice slowly and carefully. Start off hands separate, go through your rhythm, and if in doubt, always go back to basics. Read the music and then play it. Good luck. <laughs>